So let's take our eyes back to that left map again. Look at those numbers, 13, 14, 14. Until January 1 of this year, when it becomes this, 14, 15, 15. So if you remember nothing else, at least know it went up one point. All right, it went up one point. But you're gonna start hearing a lot of things out there and it's gonna get more confusing because now we have this new rating system called SEER 2. SEER, when it is had, had always been done traditionally, was testing the condensing unit in a laboratory environment. All right, so we know that's not realistic. SEER 2 now adds a formula to it, which um, makes it makes the system feel like it's in um, an installed scenario with ductwork and things like that, which adds static pressure. Static pressure makes the system work harder, pulling the air through and across and, and stuff like that. So that's what SEER 2 is measuring, all right? So if the northern states are 14 SEER, this new calculation is 13.4. Just be careful, We're, it's not huge right now. You're not even gonna find a lot of da data plates that are gonna have this on it yet, but, it's, but it is gonna be coming. But um, you might, the, the, the um, contractor might be talking to the homeowner about SEER 2 number, you're talking about SEER and they're not the same numbers, or you mentioned SEER 2 and they're like, well, that's a downgrade. It went down from 14 to 13.4. Why is that? So just be careful. This is going to be evolving over the next year or two. Uh, it's going to take a little while, but just know it's coming. That's the simple one in the northern states. Look what the DOE has done in the south and the southeast. Not only do we have a SEER 2 number, you know, if it's 15, the SEER 2 is 14.3. We've now separated by size. If it's less than 3.75 tons, um, there's that calculation, remember 45,000 divided by 12, 3.75. Um, if it's less than um, 45,000 BTUs, it's 15 SEER as a regulation. If it's greater than 45,000 BTUs or bigger than 3.75 tons, it's now 14.5, right? That's confusing. Not all brands even make a 14.5. You might need to get some help with those. And in the Southwest and California, Nevada, um, its own little world out there, they've now got new SEER 2, they got it by size, and you have to consider the EER and the EER2 number. SEER is seasonal energy, so they base it on the system running in different seasonal conditions, 75 degrees, 80, 85, 90, things like that. EER runs a system flat out at 95 degrees Fahrenheit and see how efficient it is to work. Because look how look where they're doing this at. So now you have to meet the SEER and the SEER 2 and the EER and the EER 2. So keep that in mind. I know it's confusing. I'm going to have our team drop a link in the chat that goes to an interactive uh, website that walks you through this all again. You might need that again in the future as reference. 